What's up duelers, it's Nerp here. The solo challenges in Duelist are a good way to learn the mechanics of the game, earn a little extra gold, or satisfy a completionist like me. I went ahead and recorded a tutorial for every solo challenge currently in the game. Just click the annotations on the screen for the specific challenge you need help with, or go to the timestamp in the description. I hope having all the tutorials in one place is good. Like the video if it helped you, and subscribe for more Duelist content. On to the tutorials. Lionar, earn your wings. Use flying to defeat the Abyssian general in one turn. You start by playing the Aran Nexus on your Dragonlark. This gives it enough health to survive a Tempest. You play the Tempest, which destroys all of the enemy's minions which allows your dragon lock to fly right up to the enemy general and deal 2 damage. Songhai, Leaf on the Wind. Use airdrop to defeat the Lionar general in one turn. You play the Planar Scout Anywhere where it won't be provoked and can deal damage to the enemy Lionar General. You play Inner Focus to allow it to attack this turn and deal 2 damage for the win. Vitruvian, Call to Action. Use Opening Gambit to defeat the Abyssian General in one turn. First, play Ephemeral Shroud nearby the 1717 Darkspine Elemental to dispel it back to 1 health. Play Blood Tear Alchemist to deal 1 damage to it, which will clear a way for your general to deal 2 damage to the opponent general. Abyssian, Creeping Darkness. Use Frenzy to defeat the Vitruvian General in one turn. Play both cards in your hand, the Void Pulse, and the Soul Shatter Pact. Move forward two spaces with your Piercing Mantis, and destroy the opposing three enemy minions. And then move two forward with your three Wraithlings, and deal 3 damage with each of them to the enemy general. Magmar, Crushing Reach. Use range to defeat the Vanar general in one turn. Play Greater Fortitude on your Veil Hunter and play Bounded Life Force on your general. Destroy both the Crystal Cloaker and the Borean Bear with your two ranged units to clear a path for your 10 attack general to defeat the enemy general. Abyssian, Shadow Ritual. Use Minion Sacrifice to defeat the Lionar General in one turn. Start by playing Grasp of Agony on the enemy Ironclad Guardian. Use Ritual Banishing to kill it, sacrificing your own Abyssal Crawler. Move your Shadow Watcher diagonal so you can attack with its 6 attack and your general's 2 attack to destroy the Lionar general. Songhai, Eye of the Tiger. Use self buffing and rush to defeat the Lionar general in one turn. Move your general up 2 spaces and play Saber Spine Seal on it to give it a 5 attack and destroy the Silver Guard Knight. Play Saber Spine Tiger, move up, and deal 3 damage to the enemy general to destroy it. Victory. 
Magmar, Beast of War. Use Specialize Removal to defeat the Songhai General in one turn. Move the Makintor War Beast up to, and deal damage to the Dragon Bone Golem. Use you need the War Beast to die as well. Play Natural Selection on the Dragon Bone Golem, which allows your General to move up two spaces and defeat the enemy general. Vitruvian, ready for a blast. Use blast to defeat the Abyssian general in one turn. Start by playing Wildfire Ankh on your general and deal blast damage to the middle row. Then play Star's Fury and use each of the dervishes spawn to deal 2 damage to the enemy general. Finally, move up 2 spaces with your portal guardian and finish off the general. Lionar, Divine Zeal. Use Zeal to defeat the Magmar General in one turn. Destroy the Phalanxar with a True Strike. Move two spaces up with your General and use its two attack and the Windblade out of four attack to destroy the Punish Field Master. Play Divine Bond on the Ironcliff Guardian and move up to destroy the enemy general with 13 damage. Victory. Vitruvian, ties that bind. Use opening gambit and dispel to defeat the enemy general. Play siphon energy on the Fenrir War Master to dispel it. And then play Dancing Blades directly in front of it. To deal 3 damage to it and destroy it. And allow your general to move up 2 spaces and deal 2 damage to the enemy general. Abyssian, Alluring Demise. Use enemy displacement to defeat the Vitruvian general in one turn. Play Demonic Lure on the Komodo Charger and bring it in between the enemy's minions in general. Play Grass of Agony on it and move two forward with your general and destroy the Komodo Charger. Vanar, behind enemy lines. Use Position Swapping and Infiltrate to defeat the enemy general. Move your general up two spaces. Play Swamp Entangler, down diagonally, and then Hearth Sister, down diagonally from that. And replace its spot with your big 6-5 Frosthorn Rhino. Move up diagonally to attack the general with 7 attack and use Celerity to attack again for another 7. Lionar, Honor the Fallen. Use Self Damage and Unit Sacrifice to defeat the enemy general. First, move up to with your Silver Guard Knight and deal 3 damage to the enemy general. Play Martyrdom on your own Silver Guard Knight, and then play Tempest. Move up with your General, and deal 2 damage to the enemy. Songhai, Path of the Mistwalkers. Use Spell Chaining to defeat the Vanar General in one turn. First play Gorehorn, and then activate it with Inner Focus while it still has 3 attack. 
Then play Mist Dragon Seal and move it to right behind the enemy general so it can take advantage of backstab. Play Saber Spine Seal on it and deal 9 damage to the enemy general. Lionar, Swiftness of Movement. Use Celerity to defeat Calibero in one turn. Play War Surge. Then play Divine Bond on the Silver Guard Squire. And play Sunstone Bracers on your General. Move up with your General and destroy the Iron Club Guardian. With 3 attack from your general and 7 attack from your silver guard squire. Use the Azurite Lion Celerity to be able to move twice and deal 3 damage to the Calibera. Abyssian, Gifts Unforgiven. Use Dying Wish to defeat the Songhai General in one turn. Move forward with both of your Void Hunters, and have them each deal 4 damage to the Hammond Blade Seeker. Play your Just Drawn Crossbones somewhere where it won't block the General's path to destroy the enemy Widowmaker. Move forward to with your General, play Saber Spine Tiger, along with Shadow Reflection on it and use its 8 attack combined with your general's 2 attack to destroy the enemy general. Victory. Magmar, Shattered Memories. Use artifact destruction to defeat the Abyssian general in one turn. Start by playing Plasma Storm to clear most of the board. Then play Natural Selection to destroy the Black Solus. Move two forward with each of your units and play Rust Crawler to destroy the artifact on the enemy general. Attack with everybody and win. Vitruvian, bad to the bone. Breakthrough provoked to defeat the Magmar General in one turn. Start by playing Bone Swarm on the enemy general. Then put Astral Phasing on your blue tip scorpion to give it flying. And bring it over in between an Orb Weaver and a Rock Pulverizer to destroy the Primus Shield Master. Move two forward with your general and place Frostbone Naga in between the Rock Pulverizer and the enemy general. Move forward with both Orb Weavers and attack. Vanar, Approaching Cold. Use Rush to defeat the Magmar General in one turn. First, move your general diagonally up to the right. Then play Bone Chill Barrier to the right of your general and use it to navigate through the passageway. Then play Crystal Wisp to the right of that and play Saber Spine Tiger diagonally up from that. Move forward with your tiger and deal 3 damage to the enemy general. Vanar, Frozen Shadows. Defeat the Abyssian General in one turn. Begin by playing the Bone Shell Barrier anywhere just away from the battle just to increase the Boring Bear's attack. Move diagonally up with your Crystal Cloaker and deal 2 damage to the top on the Shield Master. 
Then place Snowpiercer on your general to give it 5 attack. And finish off destroying that Primus Shield Master. Play both Boundless Courage and Frostfire on your Borean Bear to give it 9 attack to destroy the enemy general. Vitruvian, Winds of Change. Bolster your dervishes and bring down the Songhai General in one turn. First, play the Fireblaze Obelisk somewhere, so all your dervishes gain one attack. Use one of the Orb Weavers to attack the Fireblazer. And finish off the Fireblazer with your General. Move the Orb Weaver or other Orb Weaver in, in front of the enemy general and deal 2 damage to it. Play Rasha's Curse and spawn a Dervish in front of the enemy general and use that Dervish to deal 3 damage to it. And finally, move 2 up with your Sand Howler and play both Primus Fist and Dune Caster to increase its attack to 8 and destroy the enemy general. Lionar, dead center. Defeat the Vanar general in one turn. Start by playing Martyrdom on the enemy snow chaser. Move 2 forward with your general and destroy one of the bone chill barriers in front. And move two forward with your Sunstone Templar and deal one damage to the Wind Stopper to dispel it. Then play Arclight Sentinel adjacent to your Rogue Warden and use its new six attack to defeat the enemy general. Abyssian, power overwhelming. Defeat the Songhai General in one turn. Start by using Demonic Lure on the enemy Kaido Assassin and move it nearby your general. Play Horn of the Forsaken on your general and then destroy the Kaido Assassin with your general. Next, move forward two with your Wraithling and play Wraithling Fury on it. And use it to attack and destroy the Gorehorn. Move forward two with your Black Solus and play Wraithling Storm to spawn three Wraithlings and increase the Black Solus' attack to 14, which is just enough to destroy the enemy general. Songhai, Evolution into Ash. Defeat the Magmar General in one turn. Start by playing Mist Dragon Seal on your Chakri Avatar and move it to a space nearby the enemy general. Immediately attack it for 3 damage. And then play Inner Focus on it before you play any other spells. Now play Mana Vortex, followed by Saber Spine Seal on your Chakra Avatar. Finally, play Phoenix Fire on the enemy general. Then move forward to with your general, destroy the top Phalanxar, and move forward to with your Four Winds Magi, and have both your Four Winds Magi and your 10 attack Chakri Avatar deal damage to the enemy general. Abyssian, Engulf the Flame. Defeat the Songhai General in one turn. Start by moving two forward with your top Wraithling, bottom forward Wraithling, and Gloom Chaser. Then play Saber Spine Tiger in front 
and promptly deal 3 damage to the enemy general. Move your Shadow Dancer back one just to get it out of the way, and move your general up two. Use the Wraithling on top and the Wraithling on bottom to deal one damage to the respective Lantern Foxes. And use your Gloom Chasers to deal two damage to another. Now the goal is to spawn as many Wraithlings as possible, so let's get our Bloodwood Priestess out of their little eggs here and move them each forward two. And then use them each to deal their Lantern Foxes that are adjacent to. Now to win, we have to create a spot where we can place our Deep Fire Devourer in between eight other minions, so that means it has to have a nearby minion on every possible space. And as you can see, there's nowhere on the board that we can quite do that, but if we move up to or down to with one of these Wraithlings and create more of a circle here, we can get lucky with our Shadow Spawn Bloodborne spell and hope that one of them spawns in this space right here. So this is where a little luck is involved, and as you see we got it, but it could have been spawned there and there, or there and there, because it spawns on any space nearby your general. But we were lucky there so we could just play the Deep Fire Devourer and all these units will die, and the enemy general will be destroyed. So if you don't get lucky the first time with your Bloodborne spell, then just try it again, you should get it within a few times. Magmar, Breaking the Bad, defeat the Vanar General in one turn. First, play Flash Reincarnation. Then play Silhouette Tracer anywhere nearby your General, and teleport your General to either of these spaces that are nearby the enemy General. Then, Play Ephemeral Shroud diagonally across from your general so it's adjacent to the Whistling Blade and click on the Whistling Blade to dispel it. Now your general is no longer provoked and you can play Adamantite Claws and the Bloodborne spell to increase your general's attack to 7 and destroy the enemy general. Vanar, Final Whispers, defeat the Abyssian General in one turn. With your Crystal Wisp at the end here, move backwards two spaces and play Razorback on the Mana Spring. Then play Hearth Sister nearby the enemy General and use it to switch spots with the Crystal Wisp far away from the general. Then play Warbird, the Bloodborne spell, and use each of your Crystal Wisps to attack the enemy general. Vitruvian, Relics Reclaimed, defeat the Songhai General in one turn. The trick here is you have to replace this card. So go ahead and replace it, and you draw an Artifact Hunter. Play the Artifact Hunter anywhere, and draw a Wildfire Ankh, and play that on your General. Now, play Psionic Strike, it's Bloodborne spell and need to draw one more card, so we have to make this Windstrike die. And the only place for it to die is to attack the Scarlet Viper using the Scarlet Viper's backstab ability. So fly right behind the Scarlet Viper and attack the Scarlet Viper. Your Windstrike will die and you'll draw Aurora's Tears, which you can play, and your general will deal even more damage to destroy the Whistling Blade and deal 8 damage to the enemy general and your Imperial Mechanist can finish it off. Victory. 
Lionar, inspiring presence. Use zeal to march across the map and bring down the enemy general. This one looks pretty daunting and confusing, but I'll take you through it step by step so you won't make any mistakes. Start by playing Skywind Glaives, which will give your Lizzian Brawler plus two attack and allow it to destroy the Fire Blazer in one hit. Move forward two with your general to activate the zeal for the Windblade Adept and play Lionheart Blessing on the Windblade Adept. Destroy the enemy Primus Shield Master with your Windblade. And you will draw Sunstone Bracers, which you don't need, so you're going to replace that. Play the Silhouette Tracer somewhere. And teleport your general all the way forward it can go, which will give your two second sons zeal and ten attack. Then play Magnetize and bring your Mana Forger up to the front of your general so it can destroy deal damage to the enemy general. Finally play Roar on any of your front three minions and then use all three of them to attack the enemy general for just enough damage to win.